Hello friends, my name is Diamond Dozen and welcome to Sneak Peek. I have done one of these before, but it's been a long time. It, this is where I play indie games. Or at least a little bit of it anyway. Also, my keyboard just fell off of the track. Oh my god, everything is going wrong already. My name is Diamond Dozen, I just said that. Uh, today we're playing Adventures of Chris. Um, I forget who this is by, but my new style of playing this game will, uh... How do I... Let's just turn that down a bit. Music's very good, but also very loud. <laughs> um... But yeah, let's just, uh, get into this new game. I should keep, uh, a, a mention, I should mention that this is a beta. This is the beta. Pick this one. It says recommended. All right. Thank you for the introduction, Diamond Dozen, from 20 minutes ago. This is the new format for Sneak Peek. I will play 20 minutes or so of a game and then share my thoughts afterwards. Without further ado, let me tell you about this game. The Adventures of Chris is about a strapping young lad named Chris. He is an unassuming middle schooler from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, who finds himself being inflated like a balloon by a vampire. Yeah, they don't mess around. Uh, several other children are also trapped by the vampire and Chris must save them. The story, although simple, is mostly unique. It keeps the accidental hero trope displayed by many other games, books, and movies, but it is done using a fun, self-deprecating style of humor. <laughs> oh, that's funny! The art is well done, to put it simply. It is a cartoon style that would be used in the 90s platformers, which this game takes an obvious inspiration. I enjoy the color. It's very bright and vibrant, and it makes you happy to play the game. Also, the bouncy animation, it just kind of gets you grooving, you know? Uh, but I am I, I'm not experienced enough to comment so much on the art, uh, but yeah, that's my take on that. Uh, for gameplay, from the first 20 minutes I played of the game, it seems that Chris's main moves are the common jumping, punching, and moving in one of the cardinal directions. Which is, I mean, that's fine, it's a platformer, that's what you want, obviously. Um, there are, however, some new mechanics. Uh, such as the ability to inflate yourself like a balloon and deflate, I must add, which is, it, it's fantastic, that's fun, it's, it's a good, it, it has, it adds some gravity switches, it adds some different mechanics that, like, you wouldn't think of, like, it's very creative, <laughs> what, uh, I, I think it was called Guin G Entertainment, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's very creative of them, they did an excellent job. Um, of that. Plus, the game runs smoothly. It is in its beta stage, which I mentioned, but I found nothing to be disappointed at. I, I should mention, however, although not disappointing, it was mildly frustrating, but also could have been part of the mechanics and I'm just missing it. I, I noticed that certain parts seem like the, the hitboxes were not fully aligned properly, uh, such as this floating section. No, what? Why didn't it catch under the cloud? That's a little annoying. I feel like I feel like I should be catching onto that cloud there. Like visually, it would just make sense. Um, maybe he intended for that, but I feel like there sh there could be some fixes that he could do, right, Chris being him. I had, I had some trouble with it, and that's, yeah, that may have been my fault. I'm pretty bad at video games, but it's nothing that was game-breaking. Music, again, I am not an expert on this, so I cannot talk much about it, but the music in this game is quite average. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, though. It, it adds an atmospheric nuance, which is quite enjoyable. Um, you know, it's... However, I would recommend turning the volume down to about 30%. It's it's quite loud. Uh, you could also just 
turn your headphones down. I don't know if that's... I, I feel like that's just a normal thing with video games nowadays. It's nothing that this company could, did wrong. It's very fun. It's it, it keeps you in the game while not taking you completely away from it, which is awesome. I, I do enjoy that. Overall, this game has potential. Uh, it kind of gives me a, a battle block theater sort of vibes with less theatricality, so to speak. Uh, but I enjoy that very much. I love Battle Block Theater. Uh, the humor is the biggest thing for me. This game, from the 20 minutes I've seen, it's already hilarious. Um, yeah, it, it's unique. The sounds are exquisite. And overall, it's a fun game to play. Um, I will be finishing up the rest of the story in my free time, which then you might see a more in-depth review. This isn't uh, five minutes or so, four minutes. is not going to be too much. Um, but if you'd like to see the, my full 23-ish minute playthrough, I'll be uploading that on Tuesday, hopefully. Today should be Sunday that you're seeing this. My uploading schedule is kind of whack, but I will hopefully get this done. Uh, but yeah, it'll be the uncut footage. You'll be able to see everything. It's a little bit boring. I, I kind of didn't read the voices, but yeah, I'll be playing that. Um, anyways, my name is Diamond Dozen, and thank you for watching.